Tell me exactly what spin off the job as part of your job title means, and then we'll talk about spin off the publication. Sure. Uh, um, technology transfer. We develop uh, new technologies for missions, um, and then we find ways that they can benefit the, the general public. Uh, so not all of the technologies that, that we uh, develop get uh, sent up into space. Uh, uh, a lot of them get sent up into space and come back down to Earth in the form of, of uh, practical benefits, and we call those spinoff. Why, why is it important for you to use the publication spinoff to demonstrate not just to people inside the agency, but to the general public, what you're doing with technology at NASA? Well, there's a handful of reasons. Uh, first, you know, we want to show the public that they're, they're getting some uh, uh, additional benefits for their dollar. Um, in addition to all the cool uh, exploration and innovation that, that we're conducting in the agency, uh, we want to show that there, there are advantages to the uh, uh, technology development outside of uh, the initial purposes. Uh, but secondly, a lot of these technologies we create actually have um, uh, real and practical, uh, uh, very important um, uh, applications. For example, um, we've developed new medical components, uh, new medical processes. Um, we've developed uh, uh, smarter, lighter uh, uh, composites that industry can employ. And the more we, the more we tell people about them, the more people are going to use them. Uh, so it's important to us to let as many people um, know about them as possible. Uh, the information on the NASA website for spinoff that we have linked up at federalnewsradio.com slash in-depth right now says that spinoff first started as a publication, an annual publication in 1976. It's online now, and I'm a little prejudiced, but I happen to like the online version a lot more than the hard copy. What what are you doing to let people know that it's there so that they can come and learn these things that you want them to learn about what NASA's doing? Sure. Well, we have um, the website, and we, we blast that out through all of our social media. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Uh, we have a, a YouTube channel. We've got a Google Plus channel, um, uh, and we uh, broadcast using all the, the social media that's possible. Um, we've also got the print cop. People still like the the actual book, and, and we print it out, and it ends up being about 200 pages a year. It's a, a big book explaining how NASA benefits your everyday life. Uh, we've got brochures, and we've got um, DVDs and videos, and, and we, we reach out as, as many different ways as we can. What are you finding as far as social media response? How do people respond to you? And I, I don't mean whether they do it well or they do it not so well, but what kinds of what kinds of interaction do you have with citizens through spinoff, through social media challenge, uh, channels? Well, we get the same response a lot. And the first time people come to us, they say, you should tell more people about this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, we could use your help with this, too. <laughs> and, and also, that's what we're doing. Uh, we're trying to let as many people know as possible. And, and generally, uh, when people understand uh, all of the benefits that they get from, from this investment in space, uh, they want to go tell somebody else, and it's 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 um it's infectious, it's viral, and uh, we have seen that, that that people are responding to it very well. Every, everyone likes to know uh, these these cool stories about space, but it's exciting uh, to be able to tell them, for example, about the uh, uh, heart implants that were developed uh, out of uh, space shuttle main engine components, or the tracking of endangered species um, uh, based on. Uh, star mapping tools. Uh, so we've got a bunch of cool, specific kind of off-the-wall stories of technology coming from space back down to Earth, and uh, and people like them. They're, they're good stuff. There are a tremendous number of stories. As I looked through the current edition online uh, the other day, I was really just amazed because I think there's a conception in popular culture that NASA has introduced things like, well, the, the one that people probably mentioned the first is Tang, which right. is probably the silliest one uh, of all the ones that I've seen, uh, especially when you compare it to some of the things that are, that are in uh, the issue that's linked up on our website right now. Right. Now, NASA didn't invent Tang. Uh, it was popularized by the space industry mm -hmm. and the space agency back in the 1960s. Uh, but you're right. Uh, the, the reach that NASA has had has been all throughout industry in consumer goods, um, in medical advances, in cleaner, greener transportation, in uh, more accurate weather prediction. Uh, the, the cameras in your cell phone, that's a NASA technology. Um, uh, the semi trucks that are uh, going down the road that, that they look like the space shuttle is no coincidence. There's actually a transfer of NASA aeronautics technology 
um, uh, that went into the modern design of the semi truck. Mm -hmm. uh, you find it all around, and it's in in all of our lot, a lot to be grateful for uh, from the space agency. If I come to you from another agency and I say you guys are are do, using this methodology of telling your story essentially, and I would like to do the same thing. We all know where the federal agencies are budget wise. How do you? How would you recommend that somebody go and and demonstrate a return on investment on something like this. Uh, th this isn't free, obviously. You've got to print these. You've got to put the publication together. You've got to make the CD-ROMs available for distribution, and you've got to manage the website where uh, the, the web version lives. Um, how, do you, how would you recommend that somebody demonstrate that ROI up the chain at their agency? Because uh, everybody's going to be asked to demonstrate why they're doing the things that, that you folks are doing. Well, every, every agency has a technology transfer office. Everyone that has a, a, a laboratory also has one of these, these offices. Uh, I, I think that we're pretty adept at telling our story, though, and I do share that information with the other agencies uh, as often as I can. Um, and we have meetings, and, and we get together, and, and I, I will tell you, NASA's NASA pretty good at telling its story, um, and, we, and we do share that, that know-how when we can. So another type of tech transfer right there.